Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Daz's Top 20 Selling Comic Books of the Week, Episode 78. It's been a couple of weeks since my last one. Today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comics for the week ending June 18th, 2020. Since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. And they scour thousands of eBay sales to coordinate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. As always guys, let's find out if you can beat me. Almost everybody does. Starting in at number 20 this time round guys. And I'm off to a good start. A book from 1992. Now of course all the attention right now is on Mars Morales. But let's not forget how much this book sells. The book in question from Image. Spawn, number one, yeah. This is the first solo Spawn title. Of course, Spawn first appears in Malibu Sun, issue 13. But uh, it's a great book. And for a book that is mass produced, it's getting a lot of hits still. This is the first appearance of Jason Wynn, Mel Boglia, Wanda Fitzgerald, Sam and Twitch, uh, Stephen Percival is the second title published by Image Comics and of course we've got some gorgeous artwork from Todd McFarlane and of course we are getting a next or a second should I say Spawn movie I've got the original bit of a B movie in my collection but um, it's no longer Jamie Foxx I mean you know I think he's moved on he's going to be playing Mike Tyson isn't he but uh Tom McFarlane promises that the Spawn movie will happen and they have a big name lined up. Let's find out what this book did this time round. Well, it sold 21 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 87% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for 150. And that is rising because more recent times it's been in about the $120 range. So a great book to have. And what did I pay for mine? Oh, £1.31. From the legend, of course, that is Carboot Tony. Number 19 on our list, guys. And uh, here's a book that I don't own. It's a new book, that's why. And I just don't pick up these new books anymore. But this is from IDW. And it is Marvel Action Adventures, issue number 10. This, guys, is the first appearance of the Yellow Hawk. Yeah. We've got the green, we've got the red, we've had the grey, why not stick a yellow one in there? But uh, I, I'm not so sure because I've been seeing whether it's a, a what if book from the 80s, I think, that has a, an appearance of the Yellow Hawk. But people are clambering for this book. I'm, I just refuse to pay uh, new book prices at the moment, guys. And... Uh, I'll just wait a little while and they will be in my LCS 50p bin. So to me, that's just good business. Especially when I'm trying to flip a lot of books at the moment. Well, that book sold 29 copies. It had a seven day trend, a plus 75% and a high sale raw copy. Believe it or not, madness went for $49. Insanity. Now, number 18 on our list. Uh, another recent book and this is from uh, DC and this is from 2019 now it was noted in a newsletter that uh, one of the Gold Lantern's earlier appearances before uh, Legion of Superheroes 6 is in this variant cover now this is the first official cover appearance and a much better look at the chapter uh, character than his background appearances in Superman 14 and Supergirl 33. The book in question, Legion of Superheroes, Millennium, issue number one, and this is the Hitch variant, guys. Here's your book. See if you can dig him out. If I'm not mistaken, he's at the top. Well, what has this book done in recent times? Well, it sold 12 copies. Had a seven day trend of plus 187% and a high sale raw went for $9.99. And we're sticking with new books. Probably the last modern book that I've picked up uh, was 
the cardstock Matina variant to Batman 89. Of course, we all know it's the cameo of Punchline. Well, the regular cover is still doing very nicely, believe it or not. And of course, I'll show you it, but we all know it. There we go. Batman. And that is number 89, the regular cover. The first cameo appearance of Punchline. Now, it sold 24 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 102%. And oh, I can't believe these figures. A high sale raw copy. Raw went for $124.95. Which, to me, is just madness. This character could be killed off in a week or two. Now, probably not. But is this going to be the new Harlequin? I don't believe so. And from what I've been hearing... Uh, um, from uh, viewers on the in the YouTube community, um, it was a pretty poor read. Apparently, uh, it, it was a real letdown after some good recent Batman issues. And that, uh, sorry, I'm talking about ninety three at the moment because that eighty nine was leading into the uh, this recent issue of ninety three with Punchline comes to the front, and uh, it was a big letdown. So. Uh, I'm pretty glad I stayed away from uh, Batman 92 and 93. Now, number 16 in our list is from Marvel. It is from 1976. And we all know the Eternals movie is coming. And uh, in fact, we're just waiting for the trailer. And of course, the Eternals first appeared in Eternals. Issue number one. Yeah. Simple as that. And this is the first appearance and origin of the Eternals team. Uh, we've got the first appearance of Icarus, who's going to be in the movie. We've got the first appearance of the Deviants, uh, Brother Toad, Margot Damien, Crow, Cataphrax, Dr. Damien, Vira. It's the first mention of the Celestials. And their first appearance is, of course, in The Eternals, issue number two. But I jumped on these books early, and rightly so, because now it is very, very hot. It sold 28 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 86%, and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $999.95, which is just madness to me. Uh, before these announcements, I'm pretty sure you could find Eternals books in your dollar bins. I paid $14.95 for this copy, which is my better copy, and that was in April of 2018, pretty much when the news first came out, and... Uh, a week or so later, pick this one up for 12. Hoping to flip my weaker copy when the trailer comes out. We're getting some DC love again and Batman again. And this time it's from 1999. Now, Cassandra Kane appeared in her Batgirl costume on the new Chew variant uh, for the upcoming coming Joker War Zone, and that has led to speculation that she'd be once again taking on the moniker of Batgirl. And of course, her first appearance comes in Batman Legends of the Dark Knight issue number one hundred and twenty. Yeah, this is a book that does okay, but it's getting a bit of renewed love. This book sold 11 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 236% and a high sale raw went for $27.61. Like I said, this is the first appearance of Cassandra Kane, aka Batgirl in costume. It's also the origin of Batgirl in this issue. And uh, what did I pay for mine? A pound from the legend again, Card Beep Tony. He's been very good to me. He's like, I've said it before. He is the uh, comic Santa. Looks a bit like Santa too. Check back through my old videos and take a look at it. Car Boot Tony. So we're moving on to number 14 on our list. And this is a book from 2017. I actually picked up the incentive, which is doing rather well on, uh, to this book. I paid three quid for the incentive. I think it was a one in 25 I picked up. But the book in question, with all things Miles Morales being absolutely scorching right now, this makes sense that the evil doppel doppelganger's first appearance should also get some love. The book from 2017 is Spider-Man 2, issue number one. Now, this is the regular cover. There is a 1 in 25, like I said, that I picked up. 
and there is a 1 in 50 too, I believe. What did it do? Well, it sold 18 copies, a seven day trend of plus 155% and a high sale raw went for a staggering $36.91. This is the spec game right now. I don't know about you guys, but right now I am winning very, very little on eBay. I mean, I picked up one or two decent things, but the big books, and I'm talking ratty grades, are going for insane money. It is the time to sell, and that's what I've been doing, listing pretty much anything I can find. Number 13 on our list, Marvel. 1992 let there be carnage indeed yep we are getting venom 2 we are getting a film called let there be carnage starring carnage as the villain against tom hardy's venom big fan of woody also looking forward immensely to the film um, i think it's going to be better than the first one the first film was okay for me about a seven out of ten but uh the first full appearance of carnage is of course Amazing Spider-Man issue 361. Now this is a book that sold 31 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 101% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $455. Is mine a 9.8? Probably not. Sorry about the reflection. It's in a nice bit of mylar. But uh, it's very high grade and uh, I paid 50 quid for this back in uh, the middle of 2018 at the uh, Collectomania Con in Birmingham. And at the time I handed over 50 pounds, which for me was an awful lot of money and I was terrified, but I believed in Carnage. I think he could, could get up to Venom figures. I could be wrong. Number 11 on our list and the first run, oh sorry, number 12 on our list, jumping the gun, is another nice Marvel book from 1984. And this classic cover keeps popping up in my top 20. Uh, it is a book that sold 32 copies, but what was that book? From 1984, Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars issue number eight, of course. This is the origin of the black symbiote costume that becomes Venom. Uh, this is also the second appearance of Spider-Woman, who is Julia Carpenter. Now, Spider-Man's new black costume is explained as an alien costume in this issue. And Spider-Man's black costume first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 252, another book that I own. Uh, and then Marvel Team Up 141, Spectacular Spider-Man 90, which were all published in uh, May of 1984, seven months before the release of Secret Wars issue uh, eight in December. However, in Marvel's continuity, and this is the important part, the events in Secret Wars eight take place before Amazing Spider-Man 252 and the rest of the books. So uh, this is why people are going for it. And it's like I said, so 32 copies at a seven day trend of plus 114% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $375. And that is a lot of money for this book. What did I pay for mine? Zilch, zero de nada. Uh, I won this in a brilliant prize uh, competition win from one of my favorite YouTubers, Joker68. I hope you're doing well, buddy. So we're into the big top 10. And I haven't started too badly, but I've got a feeling it's about to get a whole lot worse. Number 10 on our list, guys. And uh, film homage variants are a bit hit and miss. Some of them are doing well and some of them really tank. But this is uh, one that is really getting some love at the moment. It is from Image Comics. Uh, it is from uh, a series that has been optioned. The book in question, if I can just get it up for you guys, is Bitterroot, issue number eight. And that is a stunning Purple Rain B cover variant. You know, I was never a big fan of Prince growing up, like, but now he, he's gone, sadly. Uh, I'm really getting into his music and I quite enjoy some of his stuff now. 
And uh, I remember seeing the Purple Rain film. Was it okay? It was all right, wasn't it? But uh, people are loving this variant. It sold 17 copies at a seven day trend of plus 254% and a high sale raw copy went for $14.99. Now Bitter Root series is one to look out for. I've got, uh, there's three different um, number ones and I think I've got them all, including the Virgin variant. Now number nine on our list, and this is a, a record book from DC Comics. Legion of Superheroes 6 was one of the hottest books of the week and uh, it featured a new Doctor Fate, Monster Boy and the full appearance of the Gold Lantern. However, while they're hitting around about the $25 mark, it was revealed that Gold Lantern and Monster Boy appeared in issue 14 of this book. And that book is Superman. Issue number 14, The Year of the Villain. That's your book, guys. Yep. Apparently, those characters got into that book. I would not know. I do not pick up new books. Let's see what it did. It sold 25 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 196%, and a high sale CGC 9.8. Yeah, they're right there already. Went for $81. I don't know about all these new characters. Very few of them, to me, have long-lasting life. That's why I've really slowed down on the new books. Four and five pound a time over here. Some of them coming out at 10 quid. Not for me, but fair play to the ones that do. Now, number eight on our list. And then, like I said, everything Miles Morales is... Ugh. Got to be. I'm kicking myself for not picking up two more copies of number one, but now the second prints are getting some love, and this is of course from 2011, and this is the Pacelli second print variant to Ultimate Fallout issue number four. Here we go, guys. Da 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 da. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen that book in the wild, and boy do I look. Yep. Who would have thought that second prints are now hitting crazy money? Because that's what it's doing right now. Everything Mars is going nuts. Every week there seems to be a new high sale. The second print variant is no different and it sold 35 copies at a seven day trend of plus 167%. <laughs> my God, I can't get me around this. A CGC 9.8 of that second print went for $500. Madness. It's not even the first appearance. What's going on? Not for me. Right. Number seven on our list. I'm glad to see this one on here. Because I've got a couple of issues of number one. This is another uh, title. And it is from Boom Studios. Of course, they've set up a deal with Netflix. And there's been a lot of talk on forums that uh, something is killing the children is going to be eventually optioned. Uh, and, and fans are loving the series, but it is not highly ordered by the shops. And this made this 1 in 20 variant very difficult to find. And uh, people have been trying to track them down. This is something is killing the children. This is uh, number 7, and it is a 1 in 20 variant. There we go, guys. Kind of strange book to make the top 20, but it, it's doing all right. And I think this Netflix buzz has got people digging out a lot of Boom books. I think Boom, for me, have really upped their game of late. And the last year or two, they've been putting out some good stories and uh, could be, for me, really challenging image soon as one of the better independent uh, publishers. That book sold 10 copies at a seven day trend, a plus uh, 681% and a high sale. Raw copy went for 40 bucks. Number six on our list. There's been a lot of buzz at the moment about hip hop books. Ugh, I just can't get me around it. But um, this one is a Spider-Man book. So, you know, everything uh, Miles and Spidey is hot at the mo moment. And this variant has actually caught up on Ultimate Fallout 4. But it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But here it is. 
the book in question, Spider-Man issue number one from 2016. This is the Addy Granoff Hip Hop variant. Oh my days. Now don't get me wrong, it's a great cover, but that's it, it's a cover. And that book there is going for silly, silly money. What kind of silly money? I'm about to tell you guys. I just I can't get me head around some of these. Uh, it sold 12 copies at a seven day trend of plus 575% and a high sale, get ready for this, a high sale raw copy of that book went for $599. Really? Oh my days, I'm in the wrong game. Now number five on our list. This is why I'm in the game. Uh, the book's just moving, isn't it? A raw copy hit a massive $690 raw and it was poly bags and that was for an auction like i said this is nuts now keep in mind that most raw copies now are selling in the three to four hundred and fifty range which is still crazy the book we know it autumn up fallout issue number four it's, it's, that glare is getting me a bit today but um oh, the numbers are just insane on this book of course this is the first appearance of the uh Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now it's also the issue where Reed Richards becomes the maker, a turning point where an evil Richards explains his new philosophy of the world to the children of tomorrow. This book sold 62 copies, believe it or not, had a seven day trend of plus 147% and a high sale CGC 9.8, get ready for it, went for $1,419.94. I gotta get mine graded. It's pretty high grade. I bought it in March of 2018, just before my birthday, for £13.90. And I've seen some people with like 20 copies of this book. Even that Halloween reprint. Oh, the freebie. That's going for 20 bucks. What's going on? But uh, a fantastic book. And uh, Moz is here to stay. Just a matter of time before he comes into the MCU. But of course, we're getting into the Spider Verse 2. Now, number four on our list is a lot of love for these gold lanterns. I'm a monster boy and can't keep up with it. But this, uh, number four from this year, of course, is Legion of Superheroes 6, the Alex Gardner B variant. Now, and this isn't a bad variant, and I like how Alex Gardner's work. He did some good stuff on uh, Titans, uh, Teen Titans a little while ago. Very uh, computerised and CGI'd and all that jazz. But, uh, Nice and attractive covers put out by uh, Alex. Now this book sold 27 copies at a seven day trend of plus 380% and a high sale. Uh, raw copy went for $29.95. We move on. And this time it is to Batman. Now we I spoke about 89, jumped the gun a bit about 92, but 92 is getting some love. And in particular, the 1 in 25 Jimenez uh, punchline variant. This is your book, guys. And it's not a bad cover. But um, just mad money. It's a 1 in 25, like I said. I don't get a chance at these uh, books in my LCSs. They just don't come in, so I wouldn't pay it anyway. But uh, it's just going crazy at the moment it sold 96 copies it had a seven day trend a plus 107 percent and a high sale raw copy went for 74 dollars and 95 cents just because it is the first full appearance of punchline yeah apparently it has emerged so there we go now number two on our list i've spoke about boom in great detail and depth and now we're getting another book that has reportedly been optioned and it comes from 2015. And the book in question, I do like this cover, is Snowblind. Don't know how many of you guys know about this book. Snowblind, issue number one. That's your book. And uh, it's an adaptation of the graphic novel by Ali Masters, who did The Kitchen. Now, I, don't, I enjoyed The Kitchen as a read. I thought it was a great read, but uh, I haven't seen the film as yet, and it kind of tanked at the cinema. 
Now, this snow blind has Jake Gyllenhaal attached to star in it, which is fantastic, a great actor, with Gustav Moller, uh, who directed the 2018 Danish thriller The Guilty, making his English language directorial debut. The script will be written by Patrick Ness, the author screenwriter who wrote A Monster Cause and in his adapting. Uh, Lord of the Flies for director Luca uh, Gardigano at Warner Brothers. Uh, uh, Lord of the Flies, oh, the original one. There's one shocking scene in it, isn't there? Well, the news lit a big fire under Snowblind and it sold 13 copies at a seven day trend of plus 866%, and a high sale raw copy went for $61. So, number one on our list. It's all been the talk, guys, hasn't it? Gold Lantern, Monster Boy, we've spoke about cameos, but the book that everyone seems to be turning to is Legion of Superheroes, issue number six, the regular cover. That is our number one book this time around, guys. Hence, I have not done this well <laughs> in this week's top 20. What are the numbers on that book? <sighs> It, has, uh, it sold 84, co 84 madness, a seven day trend of plus 385% and a high sale, uh, CGC 9.8 pre-sale went for $89.99. And that's another thing I can't understand. You know, a lot of people put up pre-sales and then they don't get the books come through and they can't even send the books out to people on these pre-sales. So madness, but that's it. That's the top 20 uh, Legion of Superheroes. And the Gold Lantern and his gang seem to have dominated. But what did I get? And did you beat me, guys? Let's find out. Probably. One, two, three, four, five. A pitiful six out of 20 for Dazzy. If you like what you see, please give the thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Take care and stay safe. That's Daz. Over now. Bye for now.